Tonight, asteroids. They're dark, deadly, and given half a chance, they'll destroy everything and everyone you hold dear. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, the answer is the only thing we know how to do when we face a massive threat. Shove it mildly out of the way. I'm Claire Riley. Welcome to Watch This Space. From the CNET studios in Sydney, this is your guide to everything on Earth you need to know about space. And tonight, the asteroids are coming and we only have one defence. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission. Set to launch as early as 2020, the DART mission will answer one big question. If Earth was on a collision course with an asteroid, could we send up a spacecraft to nudge it out of the way? The mission is simple. NASA's high-tech DART spacecraft, also known as a kinetic impactor, is designed to intercept asteroids and knock them off course before they can hit our planet. Kind of like a game of pool. The DART will be blasted off into space and using its autonomous navigation software and onboard cameras, the spacecraft will target the asteroid 11 million kilometres from Earth and deliberately crash into it at a speed of 6 kilometres per second. It might sound simple, but it sure beats the other options we had. All right, guys, I've done the numbers on the asteroid. I think our best bet is Operation Armageddon. So we're going to get a group of criminal miners and we're going to send them up to the asteroid. They're going to bury a nuke inside. To that won't work. I'm, I'm going to rework this. I'll come back. I'll come back. I heard your feedback about the criminal miners, and I get it. So we're going to do plan B, which is Operation Deep Impact, OK? Same idea. We send the people up, they nuke it, but it goes around Earth this time. And we'll put everyone onto escape rockets, and Elijah Wood was going to be there, but maybe he's going to get married. I don't really understand. I hear it. I can hear it. All right. Let's just, um, let's just do the DART plan. Yeah. <clears throat> the DART isn't the only spacecraft that's asteroid bound. It's being launched alongside the European Space Agency's HERA spacecraft as part of the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment, or AIDA mission. HERA is designed to orbit the asteroid and quietly gather data, while America's DART spacecraft is going to stick a proverbial saucepan on its head and crash into the rock. Yeah, that checks out. But even though bashing into an asteroid sounds like a simple concept, the DART is actually a very high-tech piece of equipment. The cube-shaped spacecraft features onboard cameras and an autonomous navigation system, as well as roll-out solar arrays, or ROSES, to juice up the batteries while it flies through space. Best of all, the DART is packed with NASA's evolutionary xenon thruster commercial or next sea solar electric propulsion system, and I really need to get a teleprompter for this show. The next C ion thrusters will not only allow the DART to manoeuvre its way towards the asteroid in space, but it also means NASA doesn't have to have such a tight launch window. Think of it like a Nerf blaster. If you're trying to shoot a moving target, then you need to shoot it at exactly the right angle and at the right time to make sure you hit it. Dude. But imagine if your Nerf dart had its own tiny thrusters on it. You'd be able to shoot the dart, switch on the thrusters, and it'd still make its way over to the asteroid to knock it off course. So where are we going to shoot this dart? Well, NASA has picked out the binary near-Earth asteroid 65803 Didymus for its target. Not to be confused with Sir Didymus from the 1980s David Bowie classic Labyrinth. Yes, that's a niche movie reference. Didymus is about 800 metres in width and currently orbiting the Sun out past Earth. The last time it came close to us, it skimmed by about 7 million kilometres away. The asteroid was discovered in 1996, but in 2003, scientists realised it had a small moon in tow, nicknamed Diddy Moon. So I guess we all know what Sean Combs is calling his next album. The DART will target the smaller, 150 metre wide Diddy Moon, which NASA says is more typical of the size of asteroids that could pose a hazard to Earth. That's basically code for, we don't want to bash into the big Arnie twins, so we're going to hit bump with Danny DeVito instead. NASA plans to launch the DART sometime between December 2020 and May 2021. It will use its thrusters to spiral out past the orbit of the moon and shoot towards Didymus. If all goes to plan, NASA says it will intercept the Diddy moon in early October 2022. From there, scientists here on Earth will be able to use telescopes and planetary radar to measure the Diddy moon's change in momentum. At that point, we'll know just how well NASA's shoving method really works. And if it doesn't, well, at least we'll have plenty of time to set up the apocalypse lottery, find Elijah Wood and strap him to an escape rocket bound for interstellar space. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Watch This Space. We'll be back again in two weeks, but if you've enjoyed our broadcast, remember to click like on your remote and subscribe to get more space news as it happens. I'm Claire Riley for CNET. Good night and Godspeed.
A lot of people have asked me to stop making so many references to Labyrinth on this show, and quite frankly, I refuse. That's right, children, the asteroids are coming, so it's time to duck and cover and get to your astro bunker to await the inevitable water wars that come after the asteroid hits. Too grim? You better cut that then. So what was with the whole Elijah Wood getting married underage and having to take care of the little baby? These people in Armageddon had like criminal records. Steve Buscemi, why would you let him onto a spacecraft? I'm not talking about the character he plays, I'm talking about Steve Buscemi, the actor. Cool.